town and the province of Parma, a large economic center in northern Italy. Parma is also one of the most important food production area in Italy, famous for some well-known and appreciated products all over the world. About 500,000 people live in this region. They work, produce, consume, and by doing so, they obviously produce waste as well. Despite special efforts to recycle waste, and despite one of the Italian highest rate of recycling, some not recyclable garbage remains for disposal. And disposal in Parma actually means that waste is transformed into valuable materials for industry, hot pressured water for district heating, and electricity as well. Located in the northern part of the town, close to the motorway A1, the Waste to Energy Environmental Centre of Parma, in short IRENS WTE, a co-generation power plant, a facility for disposal of not recyclable waste, the production of energy and the recovery of reusable materials all in one. Designed and managed by IREN Group itself, after years of shortage of disposal facilities, now the province of Parma has chosen to treat waste on site, avoiding to send it in plants as far away as it was forced to do in the recent past. The waste is processed right where it is produced, lowering the transportation and environmental costs. At Irons WTE of Parma, 130,000 tonnes per year of waste can be incinerated, mainly household garbage for 70,000 tonnes and waste from the local industries, hospitals, trade centres, water treatment etc. for 60,000 tonnes. The majority comes from Parma and the rest comes from the surrounding area of the province. 40 highly trained women and men work at Aaron's WTE of Parma. The common task of these technicians is to dispose waste, to produce energy and to supply customers with recovered materials safely and reliably. Stefania is the energy and operation manager of the plant. She is an experienced environmental engineer. She runs the plant and verifies if the tight environmental standards are respected. Stefania is also committed to ensuring that the emissions stay well below the permitted values plant already set new records. Some of the emission values at IRENS WTE of Parma are near or even below the detection limits. This means high environmental performances. Raphael easily lifts five tons of waste with his polyp crane. He makes fuel out of waste. Previously, the waste has been processed into a mechanical biological treatment unit in order to take out wet fraction and metals thanks to a magnetic and eddy current separator. The right continuous mixture of the waste is important. Shredded and homogenized waste has the same heating value of lignite coal. This fire transforms waste into energy with bottom ash as residue or slag as we call it, and flue gas, then processed in the flue gas cleaning unit. At temperatures of more than 850 Celsius degrees, even dioxins and furans are destroyed. Just after the combustion, still in the first draft of the steam generator, nitrogen oxides, NOxes as usually called, are reduced by the injection of ammonia. Noxes are transformed into nitrogen and water, substances that can be found in abundance in the atmosphere. Right along the steam generator itself, a fair share of the fly ashes is filtered out of the flue gases and gathered in the underlying hoppers. After the steam generator, the flue gases pass through the first bag house. With the help of active carbons and hydrated lime, dioxins, furans, and heavy metals are absorbed and separated from the flue gas. Thanks to the action of the hydrated lime, a first share of hydrochloric acid and sulfur dioxide 
are also taken out of the flue gas. A second bag house serves as a police filter to extract the remaining hydrochloric acid, sulfur dioxide and particulate out of the flue gas with the aid of bicarbonate and active carbon if necessary. Then a catalytic converter with the aid of ammonia reduces again the remaining nitrogen oxides into nitrogen and water, not dangerous for the environment. Finally, at the end of the flue gas cleaning system, the draft fans push the flue gas into the atmosphere, keeping the steam generator and the flue gas cleaning unit below the atmospheric pressure, so the flue gas cannot escape into the plant. The environmental contamination is very low. For plants similar to the Erin's WTE of Palmer, it has been compared with the emissions of a dozen cars equipped with catalytic converters. Measurements of emissions are carried out with great care by the supervisor authorities. For all measured contaminants, the results are very low, often less than 10% of the permitted values. The residues of the flue gas cleaning unit are often valuable materials. For example, a part of fly ashes from the bag houses are processed in a plant for the recovery of bicarbonate. Scrap metals are sold to the iron industry and slag remains as remarkable product. At Erin's WTE, approx 25,000 tonnes of slag are produced each year. Slag can be used, for example, as raw material in the cement industry. The heart of the plant, the control room. On these screens, the measurements of all the different process stages in the plant are visualized. The operators correct even the lightest deviation from the optimal conditions with a simple click of the mouse. More than 300 people were working on this large industrial construction site, trying to maintain the projected schedule. They succeeded in building one of the most advanced waste disposal plant in Europe, an Italian excellence. While the plant was being erected, a pipe containing pressured hot water was also being built underneath the A1 motorway and the high-speed railway line linked to the district heating network of the town of Parma. Since the 2013 winter season, pressured hot water has been delivered through this pipe to the city. With the supply of such energy, Erin's WTE is helping to reach the targeted reduction in emissions. The town of Parma indeed reduces the use of thermal energy generated by conventional fueled boilers, several of them still working with diesel oil. Now the hot water needed in several houses for heating systems is produced also by waste incineration, with a general reduction of pollutants thanks to a double recovery of energy, thermal and electric, from waste and the efficiency of the flue gas treatment system. In addition to hot pressurized water, Erin's WTE of Parma produces electricity. This generator can produce up to 18 megawatts per hour of electricity, enough to supply 75,000 people, half the citizen of the town of Parma, through the Turner's High Voltage Grid, the national electric grid company linked to the plant. The engineers claim that you can virtually see through these stacks. This is because the ARPA authority can supervise online exactly which contaminants are emitted into the atmosphere 24 hours a day, thanks to a direct data line to the supervisor authority itself. Transparency and reliance, that's what the people working at Erin's WTE stand for. Samples are taken from the different flows of materials and are analysed to ensure the respect of the limits of emission envisaged by the integrated authorization issued by the province of Parma that are far below the Italian and European standard limits. 
This is a standard garbage bin, which is used by the majority of the households in the province of Parma. This bin contains not recyclable garbage after the domestic separation of all recyclable materials like paper, plastics, glass, organic waste, metals, tins, cans. The incineration of the waste contained in such a rubbish bin produces slag, bicarbonate, scrap iron, non-ferrous metals like aluminium, copper and brass, a very small percentage of fly ash, hot pressured water for district heating and electricity as well. This is the integrated system for the waste management in the province of Parma. Sorted waste collection for all the recyclable materials, collection of the residual waste and its transportation to Erin's WTE of Parma, mechanical biological treatment of the waste before the combustion. In the last years, Erin has implemented the best efforts in reducing waste through the sorted waste collection of household sorting, whose percentage was very low not long ago. The waste treatment capacity of Erin's WTE of Parma has been calculated by the PPGR, the Local Waste Management Plan, approved by the province of Parma, based on 65% of separated waste disposal on the average for its territory. With the coming on stream of Erin's WTE, the province of Parma is fulfilling the target for the environmentally friendly disposal of waste based on a technological high level of excellence. We are delivering security for the future, security for the environment, combined with the recovery of energy and reusable materials. This is the Erin Waste to Energy Environmental Centre of Parma.